empaths. Your girl key is not a miracle worker. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the people who I don't work with, because I believe it is essential that I am really clear with people about the clients who best benefit from working with me and who are the people I love and adore to be alongside. It's your girl, Kili Tavana, psychotherapist who's passionate about helping my empath crew navigate complex, tricky, one way, give you all, don't get nothing back in return relationships. So firstly, you may regard yourself as empathic and you may find yourself in a one way rela relationship with someone who you describe as narcissistic. This dynamic has become very popular in modern day, in times that we're living in, let's call it that. And it's understandable. However, empaths, I trust you know that we're not all angels, right? Because there is also a dark side to empathy, and maybe that is another video for me to consider doing, note to self. However, if you are somebody who blames others, if you're stuck in blame, and you continuously project that how could they do this to me, look what they've done. And that is a stance you are not open to reflecting on or you don't want to look at yourself, then I'm not the therapist to assist you. Blaming advocates, when you blame others, you take no responsibility. And then you are not open to how you may impact on the dynamic that you find yourself in. So firstly, if you are stuck in blame, I'm not the best possible therapist to help you. Secondly, if you are someone who thinks I can change your narcissist, partner, mother, brother, sister, cousin, boss, yeah? If you think that you can change them, empathic people, we can also be manipulative. You know that we can use our kindness also to build relationship and create dependency. This is how codependent relationships manifest. They need you, you need them, and then you create the cycle. I hope you're open to listening to the uncomfortable truths surrounding these dynamics. I've met many a person who is wanting their partner to change and they have the hope that either by sending them to your girl key or by having therapy themselves, they'll be able to get to a particular goal where the narcissistic individual will have the epiphany and become the person that they want them to be. People are often consistent, my empathic friends. Trust consistency. Now I know we can all find ourselves in very complex situations and for example, if you're a, a, a young a mom with a young family and you've began to do your Google searching and you've discovered your partners, this, that, the other, it is incredibly scary. However, your ambition for them to change can lead to increased stress for you that can compromise your own mental greatness and you will end up banging your head against the brick wall, let's be frank. So if you are seeking help so that you can change the other person, I'm not the therapist for you because my no-nonsense style of engagement may well be incredibly uncomfortable for you because you have an intention to have a desired outcome where you don't actually have control. Remember, you cannot control others. You can't control others. The only person you have control over is yourself. So whilst this may not be comfortable, it may well be beneficial, but the truth isn't always what we want to hear. Lastly, these are the people I do not work with. We do not gel well. If you're highly defensive, if you ain't open to self-reflection and looking in the mirror like Michael Jackson told us, man in the mirror or female in the mirror, <laughs> then you're going to struggle. Our, our relationship will be uh, jarring for the both of us. The people who complement the therapeutic, the people who I come alongside are generally people who are open to self-reflection. 
you know, they understand that, they understand that they co-create their situation. They're not sure how, but they have an openness and a desire to take responsibility for their situation. They have got to the point where they understand they can't change anybody, you know, and so they realize it actually starts with me. And these individuals are also open. It's the openness and the ability to self-reflect. And I think also the people who compliment, who I kind of gel with, where the therapy is very profound, are the people who are also open to taking action. They're open to getting outside of their comfort zone. Small steps, which we know lead to leaps of faith. And that often is the beautiful Mary. So like I said, if you are blaming others, if you want someone else to change because of the fantasy you have in your mind's eye of how they should be, you'll make yourself ill. And if you are highly defensive, I am not the therapist for you. But if you are open to self-responsibility, if you know that you truly are the only person that can change and there's an openness to you and again, you are curious about your own potential and open to taking action to doing things differently, we are highly likely to have a good, healthy, therapeutic relationship together. I hope this video makes sense to people. And if you are seeking support and need assistance through the trials and tribulations of your life, feel free to reach out to your girl key. Do take care of you, because if you don't, no one is coming to save you. You best learn to save your precious truth, to save your precious self. And that's the truth. Take care.